I'd spent my life in power systems and power electronics. It was always about renewables for me. And I, I think this is one of those defining generational sort of moments where we have to do the right thing. We've got to get to 80 to 90% of our energy being electricity and being clean. Inverters are the gateway to renewable energy. So inverters can translate the energy that we get from natural resources such as solar and wind into the electricity that our machines and appliances can consume. Google Australia's Digital Futures Initiative introduced us to the CSIRO folks who have that very rich background in fundamental generation technologies from renewables, but are now very, very interested in the grid and how the grid operates. We know all about power systems and power electronics, and they know all about controls. And so if you put it together, it's a beautiful thing. So that one's working now. Uh, we're gonna rewire the second inverter and test that one. Are you getting the waveforms? Great. Turn it on. These inverters are cutting edge technology, but they were not designed for what we're trying to do. They were designed for electric cars. We're trying to build on top of this next generation technology that uh, hasn't been done before. This is uncharted territory. The grid of the future is going to be almost all electronics. To make a power system using lots of inverters, we have got to get the controls right so they are not unstable. What we're trying to do with this is to rebalance the systems in real time. That will extend the life of the grid. It will allow more renewable energy to be connected to them. This is a system that cannot fail. It has to be on all the time. We've designed an inverter that has around 50% higher energy density with about 50% faster response time at 99% efficiency, all at about half the cost of a traditional commercial inverter. This technology, this development is completely vital to a, um, a stable grid with the high penetration of renewables to power the grid of the future. <laughs>